Here we are at the basic search screen of the Academic Search Complete database. Once you reach the search screen of a database, you can start your search for articles by entering one or more search terms. When searching a database, you usually want to search by combining single words or very short phrases instead of searching by long phrases or sentences. For example, if you search locations of Bigfoot sightings in this database, you'll get very few results. If you search for Bigfoot and sightings, you'll get closer to 30 results. Remember that the databases usually just look for matches for what you type in. So if you type in a long phrase, like evidence that Bigfoot exists, it will only find articles where the author has written that exact phrase. If you use keywords connected by the word and, like Bigfoot and evidence, the database will pull up articles that have both the words Bigfoot and evidence somewhere in the article, but not necessarily right next to each other. This makes the difference between 1 and 20 some results. If it is very important that you find a specific phrase or want to only find articles where two or more words appear next to each other, use quotation marks around the phrase to search the exact phrase. This can make a big difference in your results. You can also connect keywords with the connector OR to find any of the words you type in. A good example of a way to use OR comes up when you are looking for articles on any of the human ape creatures of folklore. You could type in skunk ape, or Bigfoot, or Sasquatch, which would look for articles with at least one of those terms. OR is good to use when you have multiple names or terms for the same thing, or alternate spellings of a word where you don't care which one is found. Using AND between terms means that the search will retrieve articles where all of the terms appear, not just one or two. Once you've figured out your search terms, you can hit search and start looking at your results. One thing you might notice is that many of the databases will help you narrow your search to scholarly or peer-reviewed articles by allowing you to look at only academic journals or strictly peer-reviewed journals. Also, if you want to look at recent articles, say the last five years, you can limit your search by date. When you click on an article title, you will see some more information about the article. Many times, this includes an abstract. Abstracts are short summaries of what the article is about. Reading abstracts is a good way to quickly determine whether an article is relevant to your research. Also on this page with the abstract are some subject headings. To find even more articles, it is sometimes helpful to write down some of the subject headings listed to use in future searches. Many of the results that we have from this search have the full text of the article attached. You can click on these links to view the entire article. You can print out the PDF or full text of the article if you'd like. If you find a few articles that you like and would like to save for later, you can mark them or add them to a folder. Most databases will add these to a folder or other list of marked items. From there, you can often choose to email the articles to yourself or a friend, or you can export or save citation information for these articles. Many databases will even help you get started formatting citation information into a format like MLA or APA.